we're on a mission. We travel 12 hours to Japan because they have some of the most unique vending machines in the entire world. So for the next 24 hours, my friends and I will be eating only vending machine food for an entire day. Yep, no restaurants, no convenience stores, just vending machines. If the vending machines are anything like at home, we're gonna starve. There's literally nothing in here. Okay, so it's almost 9 a.m., which means it's time for breakfast, but before we leave, I wanna show Brent and Andrew what they're missing out on. So you're telling me we can't eat any of this? No. Lex, are you kidding me? What do you have is here? Look at this food then, if we can't eat it. I just wanted to torture you guys. Our hotel literally comes with a buffet and we don't get to eat it. Wait, look, look. What's that over there? What? No, 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 no. All right, where is this vending machine? Well, I, I forgot to mention that we have to walk to these vending machines and I have no idea where they are. All right, I'm going back to the buffet. No, 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 no. I'm going. No, you'll, you're going to have a great time. Dude, uh, how much further? We're almost there. Yeah, I have said no idea where we're ago. going. The boys don't know this, but I took a croissant from the buffet. Lexi, we can literally hear you. No, you can't. Can I have a, some, some of that? No, you can't. Why not? Because you're only eating vending machine Give food. Me that. No, no, Give no, me that, no, no. Lex. Okay, so since it's 9 a.m., we are here at our very first vending machine, yeah. and this one has coffee. So basically, vending machines in Japan can serve hot coffee if you want. Wait, hot coffee? Yes. Wait, what? How do they do that? I don't know. I guess we're gonna find out right now. Okay, our first drink. It's literally hot. Huh? It's literally like warm. Wait, what do you mean it's hot? Oh my gosh. It's, it's like a hot potato. Oh my gosh, it's hot. <laughs> We're gonna do a taste test of our coffee. All right, let's do it. Good. Okay, cheers. Cheers, guys, cheers. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god. god. Mine's hot. Mine's really freaking good. Mine's, really, mine's good. really good, but mine's really hot. It's Not only is the coffee good, but like the whole idea of this coming from a vending machine is like, makes it even better. Yeah, seriously. All good. right, you guys wait here. I'm gonna go get you some breakfast food. So I'm gonna get the boys popcorn for breakfast because there is a literal popcorn vending machine. Like, we have to try this out. <gasps> Look, it's in here. A cup of popcorn just came out of this vending machine. This vending machine has mystery boxes in here. We're going to get one and see what it is. I have no idea what could be inside of these. But technically this isn't food. Well, it might be. I guess we'll have to find out. All right, you guys, breakfast is served. Where'd you get popcorn? The vending machine. Shut up. I swear. Okay, let's see if it's good though. It's actually really good. Okay, this is good, but it's not breakfast. We may not find lunch, so I suggest you eat up. Okay, so since we had a light breakfast, we're on our way to the next vending machine for lunch, but in the meantime, we're gonna open this mystery box. Uh, I don't think that's a smart idea. Well, I also got this from a vending machine, and there's like a story on here that's in Japanese, but we're not gonna translate it so that we're actually surprised when we open it. It's animal-shaped biscuits. No. Try something that was in a sketchy white box that somebody wrapped like 10 minutes ago probably. I think you have to. It's pretty good. It tastes like like baby food. That was honestly kind of a letdown, but hey, we got another snack and it was from a vending machine. Okay. I hope you guys are hungry because lunch is right here. Wait, what? Is Bugs for you? Are you huh? Kidding? So this, you guys asked for protein, didn't you ask for like steak and wagyu and These stuff? These are bugs. Oh yeah, no, I am not eating this, Lexi. You can have this, I'm starving. Can you just throw this whole vending machine away? No, we can't. These this bugs like cost a lot of money. I don't know why you can't just like walk on the street and pick one up and eat it. Let's get ourselves a little grasshopper. Okay. <laughs> Ew, what the hell is that? Wait, what is that? Okay, so this is Andrew's lunch. Oh my God. Oh, no, I'm not eating that. Sucks. Okay, Andrew, yeah. you have to. This Why? is a challenge. Bon appetit. Wait, Lexi, are you kidding me? Bon, it's moving. You need the protein, okay? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> chew, 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 chew. <gasps> Chew, chew, chew. Eat it, eat it, eat it. No, don't spit it out. Put the rest in your mouth, put the rest in your mouth. Come in. Where are you going? Hey, Andrew, just finish the grasshopper. Just eat it. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. All right, Brent, let's Here. go get your lunch. No, you know what? No, I, no, no, no. I, I am not doing this. You have to do this. There's no way I'm gonna be eating a, a freaking bug. Brent, if you don't eat a bug out of this vending machine, then you quit the challenge. You know what? I think I'm gonna have to quit then. Seriously. There's no way I'm eating a bug <laughs> out of this vending machine. Weren't they yummy, Andrew? Mm -hmm. Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have fun. I am leaving. Bye. You're See quitting ya. the challenge. What? I'm gonna go get some Japanese candy. Put your hand up. Oh no, my not. god. All right, Andrew, I guess it's just you and me now. That's, all right, no, I don't wanna eat more bugs. Okay. Okay, let's go get some real food for lunch then. Okay. okay, so this is a no staff dumpling shop. So basically it's one giant vending machine. You walk in here and you pay by putting your money in a box. Yeah, I could just walk in there and take it and like rob it. And that's why we don't have these in the United States. Okay, let's <laughs> check this out. Let's grab your dumplings, you get your money, and you put it into this box. What? And you walk in. Wait, are you serious? <laughs> Wait, is that actually shit? Yes, that's what this 
is literally a giant vending machine. All right. No, 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 no. <laughs> we are back at the hotel and we cooked the dumplings that we got from the vending machine. Indeed. Here they are. I'm pretty sure these are just vegetable dumplings. Cheers. Cheers. That is really good. It's really good. So this was like an actual meal and we got it from a human vending machine. I actually don't mind eating vending machine food. Compared to like that at home, mm -hmm. it's way better. So you also eat bugs all the time at home yeah. too, so it's no different. It's real. Okay, Lexi, get ready for dinner because I made us a reservation. You made get us ready. a reservation for a vending machine? We're, We're eating ready. vending machine food, so you made a reservation We're for ready. a vending machine? Just get ready, okay? Okay, okay, get okay, ready. okay. Andrew, where are you taking me? Well, you know how I said I was going to take you out so we're cool for dinner. Yes, I know. Just wait, just wait, okay? Oh my god. We're here. Andrew, what is this? This is a cigarette vending machine? We're gonna have cigarettes for dinner? Yeah. What is he like? Oh my god! This is like a full on restaurant? Yeah. How did you find this? This basically counts as a vending machine. It yeah. definitely counts. This is so cool, Andrew. Is this not the best date ever? Date? <laughs> I mean, I mean, uh, I mean dinner. Okay, Andrew and I got our drink. So technically, these came out of a vending machine, right? I mean, yeah. We came in here to the vending machine, so everything that's in there it, it counts. counts. You know, we've had a rough day today. We just, we just. <laughs> yeah, it's been horrible. Okay, Andrew. Since you brought me to this place, and it is pretty cool. Stay less. <laughs> This is hands down one of the best and like coolest places like I've ever been. Really? Yeah. The entryway, the door is a vending machine. Okay, that, Andrew, was really good. Right? Yeah. Do you want to go on another date? This is not a date. Stop a, calling a, this a, a dinner, date. A dinner. Okay, so now Andrew and I want some dessert, but we can't just get dessert anywhere. We have to get it from a vending machine. Vending machines actually have dessert? They do. Really? Yeah, come on, I'll show you. Lo and behold, a cake vending machine. What? <laughs> this is crazy. Well, this is some of the cake I wanted to end up with, but it's all good. What? Cake in a cup. God, I have never seen a vending machine with dessert and cake in the vending machine. We're also gonna get some cotton candy because they have a cotton candy vending machine. Honestly, the whole vending machine isn't as bad as I thought. <laughs> no, this is like the best I've eaten in years. You can pick shape that you want. I said we should get the pink heart shaped one. It is making the cotton candy in this vending machine. Oh my gosh. Dessert taste test. Here we go. <laughs> Guys, the heart got destroyed, but I'm still tasting. Andrew's heart's broken. This is really good. <laughs> Oh my god, that's really good. I thought today was gonna be really bad. Yeah, you just because Yeah, because of uh, <laughs> eating freaking vending machine food for the whole day. But honestly, you it know what? It turned out to be the it best was day not of my life. Bad as I thought. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, it was great. <laughs> Our treehouse was so remote that we had to take a plane, rent a car, and then drive four hours just to get there. But all the travel was worth it because our treehouse left us saying, Oh my god. I have never seen anything like this actually. This is the second most shocking thing I've seen all day. What's the first? Your outfit. Are you serious? Lexi, we're in Texas. You look ridiculous. Everybody dresses like this here. I haven't seen one person dressing oh like that. Oh my god, Lexi. Yeah. Can you like change or something? It must be true, everything is bigger in Texas because this treehouse is crazy. It is true. Everything is bigger. Okay, Jackie. let's take a look at the treehouse. Lexi said that the treehouse should be right about here. I don't see it. Do you? I think that little thing over there is the treehouse. Huh? That doesn't even look like a treehouse. Alright, this is a little bit smaller than I thought, but you know, we can make it work, right? It's literally just wood around a tree. Look, it's wood built around a tree. All right, not only do we have the cheap tree house, but I have to stay with this guy. Dude, I'm the best person you can stay with, man. Dude, I watch a lot of survival shows. I know what I'm doing. This is going to be so bad. I even brought a ton of treats and a ton of essential stuff that we're going to need to survive. Yeah, great. Right when you walk in, you have a kitchen, a bathroom, and a rock waterfall jacuzzi. Are you telling me this isn't even like the main part yet? So the main bedroom is across the bridge, and we're going to take a look at that right now. Wait. Can we go in this later? Well, it depends if you change out of that outfit. We are literally on a bridge right now, and it's very wobbly because Andrew is very heavy. <laughs> don't shake it, Andrew, don't! Ah! Ah! Stop, stop, stop! On second thought, that's gonna be it for the treehouse. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I sure didn't. <laughs> I'm headed back home. Wait, no, no, I no, no. Texas, go that way. And I hate his outfits. <laughs> 
What in the world? Wow. I'm you know here. what? I'm actually moving here. I am moving here with you. Yeah, no you're not. You have a literal tree in the middle of our house. Yeah. Okay, this is definitely a lot better than Brent's and Jeremy's tree house. Let me give you guys a little tour of where we'd be staying tonight. We have a nice little ladder to, you know, get up and down, you know what I'm saying? And uh, what else do we have up here? Here, Brent, you want to take it over for me? Nothing, Jeremy. We have nothing here. Hey, at least we have each other, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. This is crazy. Andrew, where are you going to sleep? What you mean? Right here, baby. Come here. You know, I've actually never wanted to be in a crappy tree house with Brent and Jeremy more than I do right now. What? We have a tent that we can use. Hey, we're in really good hands. Like I said, I know exactly what I'm doing, okay? So first you just want to you know, spread this out a little bit. And wait, what do these do? I thought they, I thought it's- You have to stick them in the tent. You have to make the tent. I thought it comes built. No, it doesn't come built. You got to build it yourself. Bro, what? Yeah. Well, I don't think we're going to need these. No, we're going to need those. We don't have a tent if we don't have those. We're going to sleep on this and use this as a blanket. And then I use you as a pillow. Look, we're good. Come on, let's go. Why? The hammock. The bed. Our bed. Oh my God. Oh. What? The wardrobe. <laughs> Hey, I didn't know that was gonna be in there. Right. Subscribe. The mirror. The tree. The two chairs that make Andrew and I look like an old married couple. The fireplace. Hey, there's no need for that. It's gonna get like hella hot in here after he leaves. These literally look like they can be like it can be a weapon. Got him! Oh my god! I got him! Ah. Alright, let's cuddle now. Let's go. Huh? Oh, come on. What? We're going to the Let treehouse. Let go of me. No. This treehouse is literally 120 feet up in the air. We're actually that high. Yes, we're that high up. How long do you think it would take for you to drop down there? No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Wow, look at this. Like at the night, like at night when the stars are out, we could just watch the stars like this. You should see what I have in this bad boy right here. What do you have, Twinkies? First of all, I think most importantly, I got us matching PJs. Why do we need matching PJs? I could only bring a few things, and that's like really important. No, we don't need matching PJs. Yeah, we do, okay? Also got us two bananas. Uh, they're getting a little bit old. Oh, that one has a bite out of it. I know, I'm maximizing my calories. I'm eating the peel too. You can't throw away those calories. I also got a stapler. I also got a dumbbell. I also got, um, I forget what this was called, but it could be pretty useful. Binoculars. Oh, binoculars. That's the only useful thing that you brought. Yeah, I can see Alexi and Andrew from here. No, you can't. I also got my favorite picture of Lexi. We probably need that up here. We can put that like right here. Where did you get that? Oh, from a room. I also got a ton of photos that we can look at of Lexi and your dad. I snuck over yesterday and I got these. Let me see that. Nah, that's fine. Yeah, I'll just What is wrong with you? I just... Well, I know that's gone, but I still have my favorite t-shirt. Check this out. Okay. I'm sorry, Lexi, but I, I need to leave this tree house. I can't no. be stuck with this literally Lexi obsessed Guy. Don't worry, I'm the person in here. I even brought a hammer. For what? Who knows? We might need it. I, I might need this to literally hammer your head. And I also brought my typewriter. How did this all fit in one suitcase? Uh, 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 I'm pretty smart. Huh? This treehouse also came with complimentary robes, so you know what to do. Wait, I wasn't ready yet. Oh my god! Okay, okay let's look. try one more time. Oh my god, that's better. Much better. Yo, Brent, I can see Andrew and Lexi right now. And they're in the jacuzzi together. It's an unspoken rule that if the place you're staying at has a jacuzzi, you have to use it. How do you like the treehouse? It's great. Guys, it's a jacuzzi. We're not going to lie. No, we're, we're <laughs> Let's not. Let's just be straight this up. not hot. It's freezing in it here. Is. Okay, Andrew, what kind of tree can fit in your hands? I don't know. What type a of palm is? tree. Okay. I also brought Brent a picnic to win him over. I got a little surprise in here for us. I got you a little something. You know, I knew it was gonna be me and you here together. So let me set this up for us, all right? It's a little picnic. Exactly. And I got us two peanut butter sandwiches. Dude, I cannot wait to I'm munch in. I'm allergic to peanut butter. Get that away from me, I'm allergic. Oh, you are? Yes, I can't eat that. Move for me, so what are you gonna eat? Not that. I'm gonna be over here minding my own business. What is a tree's favorite dating app? Link tree. Oh no, but that's good. Timber. Oh, what? <laughs> Wait, the link tree's dating now too, right? I don't think so. Okay, Andrew, now that we're in a jacuzzi together, is it true that everything's bigger in Texas? Uh, let me see. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, guys. Okay, Brent, how you feeling right now? Not good. Jeremy's on my last nerve, and I'm literally starving. The only thing he brought was a peanut butter sandwich. All right, Jeremy, how are you liking the treehouse? I like the treehouse, but I feel like crap. I didn't know he was allergic to peanut butter. You know what? I didn't make it up for him. I have a good idea. The treehouse also came with a complimentary chef if we wanted one, and of course, we want one. Yeah, we do. Where is she? She'll be here Where? any minute. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Well, this is your first course for today. Four? Yes. Oh my. Okay. Lucky us. When oh my god. I, I do feel really bad for Brent and Jeremy. So I haven't seen Jeremy for about an hour. I don't know where he is, but I'm not too mad about it. I caught something. Dude, 
This was so hard to get, man. Kept running away. What is that? Hurry! Is that a McChicken? Here. Is this a hamburger? I don't know what it is. I saw like out in the wild. I had to catch it. I got my hands dirty and everything. Be appreciative. Why would you put a stick through it? For flavor. Like, did you really go to McDonald's to get this? Uh, not exactly that, but uh, pretty close. Hey, he just stole my son's McChicken! Hey, if your kid really wanted it, they would have put up a fight. He like literally handed it to me. He's four! Right here, oh my gosh. we have some potato gnocchi and roasted butternut squash oh my with gosh. a brown butter sage. Yum. Sauce. This is definitely going to be the best course because I love this. Ah, look at that sunset. Beautiful, right? Yeah. I actually wanted to ask you a little question. Probably now is probably the perfect time to ask you. No. Why? The answer is no. I hadn't even asked you the question yet. I don't care. Okay, well, what I wanted to ask so you. Get your hand off me. Oh, oh my God. goodness. Freshly filled cannolis. Uh, <laughs> what in the world? Enjoy. Wait, can we take you home? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is crazy. Like when I go to a restaurant, like the food isn't this good and I don't have this many courses. So the fact that she came with this treehouse is crazy. I actually want to take it home. To make us food. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. To make us food. What? Eat your cannoli. I think we should tell some scary stories to each other. You want to tell scary stories? Let's do it. You go first. She went and traveled with somebody else to another treehouse. Another dude. Dude, that's terrifying, dude. I have goosebumps thinking about that right now. You know now. what's terrifying? You being literally right next to me. That, that's a scary story. Two people in a treehouse under the same cover. I don't find it that scary. I find it scary. I'm leaving. Okay, Andrew and I are stargazing now. It's so beautiful. It is really pretty. That one reminds me of you. Really? Yeah, you're my shooting star. Stop. Like actually really funny you say that. Let's look. Hey Andrew, what? Hey, why do you have that? Why what? is my why do you have my face on a shirt? What? Me and Jeremy have matching ones. Hey, I, I take back what but I said. But mine's like way better quality. My shirt's like no, be way not. better quality. It's not though. better quality. I no, take back I swear. what I said. You mean no, look. Alright, we should probably get ready for bed. Thank you. Worst day of my life. Best day of mine. Just go to bed. Alright. Not on my shoulder. Alright, it is time to go to bed. Good night, Andrew. Good night, Lexi. Oh shoot, I forgot something. Ah! For this week's video, we are gonna be playing hide and seek in the world's largest Airbnb. When I found the Airbnb, I emailed them and they said no. So I found the world's second largest Airbnb and we were good to go. The only problem, I wouldn't be allowed to bring Jeremy. I quickly realized that that wasn't gonna be much of a problem. Didn't wanna bring him anyways. So I got ready to leave and packed my bags with some essentials. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my god. Wait, what? This house is 14,000 square feet and it's on five acres of land. Let's do a house tour. This might take a while. The living room, a bedroom, toilet number one. Will you excuse me for a second? It's gross. Another bathroom, another bedroom, another bathroom, another bedroom. Go on, go on without me. Leave me here. How many bathrooms do we need? The library. Don't act like you know how to read. It's also color colored coded. Another bathroom, the, the bunk, bunk bedroom. bedroom, a kitchen, another kitchen, another bathroom. Bro. Close the door. Ew. This place even comes with its own gaming room. It has a ping pong table, a pool table, an air hockey table, five arcade games, basketball. Ah! First try. That wasn't the first try. <laughs> Poker table, a popcorn machine, and three TVs. But the coolest thing is, it has its own movie theater. <laughs> this is my favorite part. Not that. This. Subscribe. And finally, the master bedroom. Brent. Yeah, what's up? What are you doing? The house comes with a complimentary massage. I had to take advantage of it. Come on. Well, this is the master bedroom. You mean my bedroom. No, I mean the master bedroom. And this is the master bathroom. <laughs> Jesus. Ew. Oh my gosh. This property is so big that we have to take a golf cart just to get to the tennis court. This house comes with a golf cart. <laughs> like what? We're going off-roading on the property. <laughs> Prince a bad driver, please help me. We have arrived at the tennis courts on our golf cart. We're gonna play some tennis. 
Well, I'm gonna play some tennis. Why do I have to wear this? And where's my racket? You won't need one. Ow! Ow! Stop! Lexi! Ow! Oh! Ow! Ow! No! Ow! Oh! No! No! Ow! This isn't how you play tennis! I'm sorry, Brent, but I'm having too much fun. This pool is over 100 feet long, and it comes with a water slide. Woo! Oh my god! This house is used for a lot of parties, so they have entertainment on call. Oh, I guess we have a magician coming. Hey! Who said magic? This house does come with magic. See anything funny in this car? Right in the center. Hopefully, if it works out. Oh my gosh! Hello! What? The resident bird. It comes with the house. Wow, this house really does come with everything. One. One. Two. two three. Point. Ah! Oh! Oh, oh snap! God. Right there, there's another one. Oh my! I have a feeling he's making this house haunted. And my birds, look at that. They've been busting their beak for you. You know what I need more than anything? What does the magician need other than birds? A uh, magic wand. Close. You need a bunny. And right there, my friend. Whoa! Oh, is, whoa! Is a real bunny. And this is root beer flow. Where, Where do the birds, the birds go? <laughs> birds have turned into the bunny. Okay. Enjoy. You might see me pop up now and then. The house also has its own mini golf course. Hey, watch this shot. Oh, four. What? This is mini golf, not bad golf. <clears throat> Go ahead and delete that clip. Oh my gosh. They don't call me Tiger for nothing. This is a mini golf course. First try. Lexi, that wasn't first try. No, it, it definitely was. We ditched the golf cart and decided to walk over to the barn. See you in 30 minutes. So this is the barn. It has 18 stalls, but yet no animals. Not so fast. What about root beer? What? What are you still doing here? It comes with the house. He, I, he did say that. He did. He did <laughs> mention that. There's even a bedroom inside the barn. And this is where Brent's going to sleep because he's a pig. What? You're not funny. Wait, where are you going, Brent? This is your room. <laughs> Brent and I are going to play hide and seek. And the person who gets found in the quickest time has to pay for this Airbnb. I am not paying for this Airbnb. It goes for about $20,000 a night. Oh my gosh. You don't want to pay, you better get to hiding. You I have don't, five I don't, minutes. I don't agree to this game. Starting now. Close your eyes then. Okay, go. Hey, so I'm in the bunk room right now. I don't know if there's, there's like these little drawers right here. Oh, but they don't, because they come out. Oh. Can I fit? Let's see. I don't think I can fit in here. Wait, let's put that back. You know, I just thought about this. This could have been a bad idea to play hide and seek because this house is on five acres of land. We might never find Brent. Wait, we might never find Brent. Not the worst thing in the world, right? That's a pretty good thing if you ask me. Oh, what's here? What is this? Oh, what the? Okay, not in there. Okay, so I could hide in a laundry room. Um, I don't know if there's maybe. Oh, oh, that's a nice hiding spot with like the vacuum and stuff. Totally works. I feel like this house is so big, but outside it's like it's dark right now, so I feel like it's gonna be even harder for her to find me outside. So I'm gonna go outside. It's kind of crazy to think that this game of hide and seek could end in me losing twenty thousand dollars. <sighs> Hopefully, his hiding spot isn't good. Okay, so we're outside. Literally, this place is massive. It's like a hotel. So, like I feel like anywhere outside is gonna be even a better, better hiding spot than inside the house. I I honestly kind of hope that I don't find Brent because I want to enjoy this house all to myself. What the? This is the movie theater? Okay, how about this? Um, where is there a place to hide? I think I'm gonna hide in the movie theater behind the chairs. Right now I'm in between the seats and the floor. I don't think she's gonna be able to find me. No way. This isn't the most comfortable spot though. Kind of hurts my back. All right, Brent's time is officially up. Let's start looking. Okay, Brent would be hiding in this toilet. Ew, not in there. Who did that? Gotcha! Not Brent. <laughs> Brent's not strong enough to open these, so he's definitely not in here. Nope, 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 and nope. He could be outside, so let's check out there. Like I said, this property is five acres, and I'm not wasting any time. Brent! Brent! I am not seeing him. Oh, I thought that was him, but it was just a pig. Okay, no sign of Brent, but we're gonna keep looking because I want him to pay for this Airbnb. Otherwise, I'm gonna be broke. Okay, we are now in the gaming room, and this seems like somewhere Brent would hide because he likes to play games, especially with Pearson. Those two need to get it together. <laughs> what? Play games? I don't play any games. Brent used to play hockey, which makes me think he could be under this air hockey table. Brent! 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 I don't think he was in there at all. I ended up just hurting myself. 
Gaming room, doesn't seem like it. Let's check the movie theater. Okay, I don't think Grant would be able to fit in any of these, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't look. Hey, I'm gonna jump on this beanbag, Brent. I really thought he was gonna be in that one. Like, I actually did. Not in the beanbag. Brent, Brent. <gasps> hey, cameraman saw me first. You've been found. Okay, I found Brent in 11 minutes and 34 seconds. Brent, do you think that you could beat that time? Yeah, I can. Uh, I don't think so. I'm pretty good at hide and seek. Go oh, hide. Your time starts now. I'm counting to five minutes. Go. Now? Five, four, three, Jesus. two, one. All right. Okay, it is now my turn to hide. I kind of have an idea of where I want to hide, but let's see if it works. Okay, I'm going to see if I can fit in this dryer. I don't know if this is going to work. Yeah. The dryer is not gonna work. Let's keep looking. Okay, this mirror that is actually a closet looks pretty spacious. This could very well work, but I don't know. I'm just not sold on this spot, so we're gonna keep looking. Okay, let me know if you guys can see me. I definitely broke something. This is not the spot for me. Okay, I think I found the perfect hiding spot. Check this out. The only problem, there's a lot of cleaning supplies in here. So let's clean this out and see if I fit. Okay, it is pretty much all cleared out. Let's see if I fit. This is officially my hiding spot and I think it's a pretty good one. Confident in it and Brent's pretty stupid, so I don't think he's gonna find me. Brent, you're supposed to be looking for Lexi. Oh, I forgot. Okay, um, we're just gonna count out the movie theater in the game room because obviously like she's not in here. Okay, there's literally five acres of land. She's so tiny, she can be anywhere. Okay, we're gonna go into the house, I guess, and check. I think I hear Brent. Okay, not in the bathroom. The laundry room. Nope, not in the laundry room. Yeah, this is like the second kitchen, not even the bunk room. Um, let's go in here. Honestly, guys, I cannot risk paying $20,000 for this house. I think I'm gonna make a run for it. Um, Lexi. Nope, this house is literally so massive. I don't know how I'm gonna find her. Wait, hey, Lexi. It's not me, Brett. I'm sorry. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> She literally just drove off in the golf cart. So I guess now you have to pay for it. I'm not paying for this. For this week's video, I have a $100 camping experience and a $100,000 camping experience. And to determine who gets what, we're gonna be putting our survival skills to the test and seeing who can light a fire first. Oh, oh okay. we got that. Jeremy and I know exactly I, I how to light a fire. I start a fire with my hands, brother. Dude, our... I don't know what he's trying Wait, to do. <laughs> all Jeremy has to do to start a fire is fart on the wood. Exactly. Ew. Are you guys ready? Oh, yes. yeah. yeah. One, two, three, Go. All right. Oh, okay. hey, what are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, Andrew and I are gonna go find some sticks because that's the only way I like know how to make a fire, like rubbing sticks uh, together. Honestly, I think that I think that's the way, right? Yeah. All right. So Andrew and Lexi are looking for sticks right now. Little do they know that we have a what? You brought a lighter, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. We have a lighter. So hey, you got to be quiet about this, though, because I think this is cheating. But all right, let's go. So I say we just get like all different kinds of sticks, and then we'll go back and see. <laughs> okay. I think this should be good. Okay, so we also brought fire starters, so this is gonna be really easy. Right, let's start this up, come on. Right. Andrew and Lexi are still looking for wood. Yeah, oh. look at that. Oh. Come on, come on, please work. You told me this would work. It is gonna work, look. Why isn't it getting to the wood? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, baby. We just started a fire. There's no way that they just Hey, 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 no whoa, way that what's they going on here? here? So Jeremy and I obviously knows what it takes we, to be a camper. How did you do I that? I think you guys cheated. Where are your sticks? We rubbed the wood together, we just made it happen. Where's our $100,000 camping site? Bro? Yeah, what? where's that at? Okay, so they did light the fire first, which means that they get the $100,000 camping experience while Andrew and I get the $100. Bro, what is this? All right, let's go check out our campsite. All right. All right, right here we have our $100,000 camping experience. It's over 40 foot long. I can't even imagine what's inside. Like, this place is huge. No, literally, it's gonna, I cannot wait to see it because, like, there's probably gonna be a bed. It's like a moving mansion on wheels right here. Ooh. Well. Do you know how to do this? I was just about to ask you the same thing. You're gonna ask if I know how to put a tent up? So Andrew and I are gonna try to put our tent up and um, that's not it. All right, let's check this out. Oh my gosh. Oh, holy crap. What?
Dude, this is a living room. This is a house. This literally looks like a hotel room, doesn't it? Oh my gosh. Does it not? Look at these nice seats right here. Well, hey, Brent, I am so glad I get to do this with you. Because oh. I don't think we get to spend enough time with each other. You know, I don't know if I like this anymore. Okay. All right, get away from me. All right, so check this out. So there's a kitchen, a stove, a microwave, like a coffee maker, a sink. And then when it's time to eat, we have our table here where Jeremy and I can have a nice meal and then also for entertainment while we're eating our meal we can press this little up button and this raises a TV oh a, a 45 inch flat screen TV right here check this out oh crap I didn't even know that like was there Jeremy we're gonna have a nice dinner date tonight oh absolutely we are so the tent building is not really going great um, I feel like Andrew doesn't really know what he's doing and he's kind of difficult to communicate with and um, we're trying so. Where Andrew, am I? No, Andrew. This place even comes with two bunk beds. So this is where Jeremy's gonna be sleeping. And where I'm gonna be sleeping is in this massive bed. Check this out. Oh my, what are you doing? Oh, this is so nice, man. No, 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 no. Dude, there's you're plenty my... of room for the both of us. Dude, you're in my bed. Oh, 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 oh. Here you go. Limbo. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> okay, Andrew, stop going around. Okay, fine. I'm gonna make sure the toilet works and you know, I'm gonna use it real quick, all right? No, you're not. Just to make sure. We're Jeremy. Gonna, we're gonna be here overnight. Please don't stink up the whole RV. It's all good. No! Uh, oh yeah. Part of me wants to go now on the oh. $100 camping. Oh yeah. Ew. Okay, so we finally got our tent up and we're gonna give you guys a little tour. Shoot. So come on in. Yeah, take a, you know, just, you know, take a spin and that's, the tour. Um, it's very spacious in here. I made it small on purpose because I'm planning on Andrew sleeping outside. Wait, what? So, are you serious? This is a one person tent. No, it's not. This like, is a one person tent. It definitely tent. fits both of us. It does not. Look, watch. Andrew, no. See? You can just lay right here in that little corner over there. And I'll be right here. <laughs> so, camping is not camping without a campfire. And luckily, this RV comes with a campfire. Well, I mean, it's pretty hot today, so I feel like we should just like take off our clothes, you know? I'm not taking it. Dude, put your shirt on. Dude, it's, it's hot and you turn on the fireplace. Put your shirt on. I'm not taking off my shirt. Yeah, I'll help you. I'll help no, you. no, come get on. away hey, from me. No. I got you. All right, Brent, so you know how we have a $100,000 budget, right? Yep. I have been cooking up a little surprise over there. I need you to sit right here, though, because it's a surprise. All right, sounds good. You trust me? Yeah, not really, but uh, just go ahead and do it. All right, well, trust me. All right, here we go. All right. So Andrew and I are eating ice cream right now. I think we need water for this. Yeah, so we realized that we need warm water for all of the food. We don't have that in our tent, so. We don't. No. That's it. I don't know how we're going to eat. <laughs> so this is probably the last video you guys will see of us. We're just it's nice gonna, knowing we're you just guys. Gonna starve to death. So you guys are probably wondering what I've been up to. I used some of that money that we got, the hundred thousand dollars, and I made us our own date. Look how romantic this is. Hey, Brent, come out here. After you. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. wow. Even the candles, Jeremy. Here, please, please. Wow, you paid attention to the details. And if you didn't think this was good enough, I have one more good surprise. And what is that? Watch this. Personal chef. A personal chef. Wow. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Oh. Thank you so much for making it out here. And it's sushi. We love sushi over here. Wait, how'd you get a personal chef? Let's just say I pulled a few strings and made some stuff happen. To a night we will never forget. I think I might want to forget this. You know, I wonder how Lexi and Andrew are doing right now. It is day 20 without food. How are you feeling, Andrew? I don't know why you told me to do this video. You think I thought we were going to get the $100 one? Like, I don't even know if we could go hunting now. Okay, like, whatever. I can't move. I could barely move. No, we have to go hunting. We can't end up like this. I don't know where Andrew is, but I'm hiding right here because I think I heard him. All right, it looks like Andrew and Lexi are hunting right now. Ooh, let me see those. What are they doing? Dude, this is such a better view than our house window. Huh? What? What? Hey, all right, it's, it's forgot what I said. All right, so since they're hunting right now, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking what you're thinking. You know, Jeremy, I don't think we were thinking the same thing. This is the only thing they had. Well, why would they be hunting a cockroach? Because I got more arms to grab you with, man. Oh, okay, all right, let's just get this over with. Should we keep looking? We're, we're not gonna stop trying. We're gonna hunt until we find something. All right, put on the mask. Hurry. Okay, right, right, right. All right, growl, growl. There you go. Ah! 
got to keep the mask on. Oh! <laughs> we finally got something! Hey, am I scary? Wait, what are you supposed to be? I'm supposed to be a cockroach. There's like a lot of cockroaches around here. We're not hunting for cockroaches. We got our food for the night. Yeah. Why'd you have to shoot me like that? First oh, yeah. catch, first catch of the day, we got a, Actually, we got a big old bear. This thing's gonna last us the whole week. Jeremy, save me! I didn't <laughs> eat any of the sushi, so I'm kind of down for some grizzly bear. The cockroach is not saving me! What's up? Hey. What's going on? Hey. I just farted, by the way. Yeah, I can smell it. We have a favor to ask you guys. Can we please borrow some hot water? We don't have food. No, Jeremy, dude, don't dude. close the door. Dude, we need to actually, we need to eat. We haven't eaten in days. You should have planned better. Yeah. We have $100. Our tent costs 55 Okay, well, you can order McDonald's. We're in the middle of nowhere. Nobody comes out here to give us food. What do you think, Jeremy? Should we give them hot water? They should have just made that fire a while ago like how we did. Yeah. Hey, we'll take this stuff. Thank no, you, Jeremy. No, 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 that? no way. No, I'm pretty down. Thanks, guys. Wait, Are you, don't close the door. Bro, what? Right. No, brother. So they didn't give us hot water and they took our food. Hey, we're gonna play a game. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. Ooh. All right, Andrew and I have a proposal for you guys. Okay, we're listening. Okay, so we wanna play a little game. Basically, we're gonna tie you to this tree and if you can get out in under 30 seconds, then you can keep the RV. But if you can't, then you have to switch campsites with us. Oh, what? It seems like a trap. Yeah, yeah, I don't think this was in the first deal that was proposed to us, was it? Yeah, I don't think so. It's a no for me. You guys didn't give us hot water. You're gonna play our game. It's a fun little game. I mean, honestly, I think we got this. We got it the first time. Let's just show off and beat them again, right? If we win, then what do we get? You get to keep the RV for the entire weekend. Jeremy can invite some girls over in the RV. All right, you know what? Fine. I, I think we can escape. Hey, wait, wait, guys. That's a little tight. All right, let's loosen it up a bit. All right, this is going to be so easy, Jeremy, huh? Oh, yeah. Once we win this, I say we take it to Cabo. How are you guys going to get tied up? Well, we're not. Yes, you are. Stop! No. <laughs> You're Come ruining on. my plan. Come on. Go! <laughs> Jeremy. What? You did this to us. Well, let's just get out. Can't get out. 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 I think we're stuck. All right, Jeremy, this hurts. Wait, I'm getting us free. No, we can't get free. There's no way we're going to get free. We're stuck. Okay. Oh, go, go to the RV. Go. You guys, we have a lot of time. I don't think that they're going to get out of the rope. So we're going to take care of me. Come on, dude. If, don't give up hope. Come on. This if, is like a rescue mission. If you didn't have to play this stupid game with them, we would be stuck to this tree. I was bored, all right? <laughs> we have officially stolen the RV. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> How did we get away with this? Wait, are, did they just go in our RV? Yeah, they're in our RV right now. Are you serious? They're literally in the RV. Hey, Boneheads! Hey, Boneheads! Come hey. back here and untie us from this tree! If you don't untie us from this tree, the tree's coming with us. Yeah, and we're gonna find your little tent and we're gonna destroy it. Uh -huh. 